All right. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is somewhere up here. Let's see, a beehive. Hmm. I don't recall making that one. And the page is blotted out. Okay. Uh, let's grab the beehive. But here, we get to see this. You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through the thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. And we are performing our experiments far from... from... We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We, we will need two of the same creatures? One for each of us. Two rabbit pelts. I think this could get messy. Look away. That the rabbit pelt, it is now one. I mean, not the most useful thing I could have done that for, but, yeah, uh, We'll see what happens later. Okay. Here we have a more practical use of the mycologists. D did you bring us two of the same? We would like to experiment. We have two mantises. You may want to avert your eyes. You now have but one mantis. It is stronger. All right. Let's see how this goes. You beheld an immense man slouched beside a mucky pond. He appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back into the pond where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up. And some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. You bring fresh fish. Easy to. Alright. Nice quick hit. All still our jewels. New fish. Alright, phase one down. Go, fish! Ooh, this one's about to get nasty. Go, fish! Good news is that we're just about done as it is. Just have that as a meat shield. And there we go. So the mycologist is pretty helpful. Hmm. You will not perish quite yet. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Mantis God. An uninspiring geck. 
Perhaps you can find a use for it. Uh, I think I'll take another Mantis God. Moving past the pond, you took a deep breath of fresh air and continued on. We will need another map. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bone-shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. You had climbed to the snow line. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fast forward to uh, when we have that rematch with the trapper and the trader. So... Be right back. Alright, so... We're back at the rematch with the Trapper and the Trader. Before we do that, though, you might remember in previous episode, uh, one of our battles, we had a cage wolf uh, break free from its cage. Well, it affected it here, so... Hehe, <laughs> mushrooms. So we take this wolf figurine, bring it over here. And we put it down here. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. Though, you may wish you hadn't. Alright, let's see... That may be important for this upcoming fight. That may be the big decision maker. Alright, rematch with the Trapper and Trader. You took in the familiar sights and scents of the Trapper's pelts. But something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you with a steely gaze. I am afraid I must be skinning you today. Let's see. Huh? Start with that. Okay, this one's gonna hurt, and it's also gonna limit my vision, so... Uh, brace yourself. There's a specific reason I'm doing this. One down. Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade. All right. Powerful cards. I will accept only the finest of pelts for them. Trade for what you can, but know this. The rest will stay and fight for me. Getting the adder. And I think I'll go with the Grizzly. I would have chosen differently. All right. 
right, let's see. Not the adder, the grizzly. Oof. Mm. On second thought. Hang on, rewind. Alright. Nope, didn't mean to take the wrist snapper. This one might actually help. Uh, let's get a squirrel out. Ooh, I just noticed that is a freaking elk with uh, death touch. Actually, wait, no, I got this. Oh, man. That fight was annoying. Mm -hmm. Reignite. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Child 13. Strange larva. And another mantis god. I think I'll take the mantis god. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. It isn't as much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Okay. At this point, we want to take the one with the glowing lines. Better? Find salvation in the cuckoo clock. Regardless, the choice is final. With the enigmatic trapper and traitor now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. A moment. Ooh. Right. So before we go on with this, there are a couple of other things that we need to do. Alright. Grabbing a few more of those. Cleared out all of those. Keep sealed. Oh! The pain is unbearable! Even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Could it be? You have the master's eye. Does this mean the master can see me? Magnificus, can you see me? 
Then you free me? Ooh, spooky. Oh, uh, I watched that dagger do its work. For a moment, I felt that my misery and company. Oh, but it's had its own noble purpose. Surely a step toward freeing the master. Hmm. It did say salvation in the cuckoo clock, so... Hello, what's this? Take the film roll, before he sees it! Now! What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Uh, nothing. And I believe... I don't remember if there's anything that actually tells you about this, but I believe if you set everything so that all the hands... Oh, nope. So that all the hands are at 12. Or no, that one. Huh. Does it fit? Actually, was there another one? Nope, just the one. Alright. <clears throat> so. Uh, let's see. I have three mantis gods. Ooh, three rabbit belts. Do, 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 do. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can do a serious power play here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and go for the sacrifice. All right. And I'm going to sacrifice one of my mantis gods. <laughs> to this I got from the mycologist. A freaking 9-6 wolf. That is going to do so much damage. Oh! <laughs> Cerberus, motherfucker. All right. This is it. Your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. Its warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travail. Steps away from the strange cabin, you are presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. The Trial of the Swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the Sprinter sigil. The trial of the Winged. The three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil. Okay. You guys can probably see where this is going. I am looking for a couple of specific cards that would be godly if I could get one of them here and one of them in the next one. Trial of Skins. The three drawn cards must include a pelt card. Uh, that's not what I was hoping for. Mmm. Ha 
That means worst case scenario, I will have to pick between one of those two boons uh, in the next round. Let the trial of the winged begin. Ah, Mantis is a card with the airborne sigil. Success. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game. And you don't even need to draw them. Boon of the Magpie's Eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. Oh, no, 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 no. They're both in the same group. Oh. The Boon of the Ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Boon of Goat's Blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. Oh! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Drawing twice would probably be better to get the resources I need. We will repeat that once more. Trial of Rarity. Three drawn cards must include a rare card. Trial of the Find. Three drawn cards must include a card with the Waterborn Sigil. Trial of the Ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. Well, guess what I just got? Let the Trial of the Ring begin. Oh, you are wearing a fine ring. You pass, of course. Alright. Magpie's Eye. Boon of the Bone Lord. You will start a battle with eight bones. Boon of the Forest. You will start a battle with Grand Furs on all of your spaces. So, luckily, Magpie's Eye came up again, so I'm taking that one. Those are the two boons that would make this a freaking cakewalk. Well... I say that now. You managed to get both of my boons. I rarely say this, but I am impressed. You have been a worthy adversary. But unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. Well, nothing else we can do but go inside the cabin. You took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? <sighs> Here we go. I hope you are adequately prepared. Perhaps one more to be safe. Spooky. I ought to thank you. How has it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat in the paper of a card. Mm, I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here. They already hold the key. Okay. Greater smoke. Squirrel. Yep. Yeah, 
Alright, this one's gonna be pretty brutal. Capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you, and their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. I remember that one fondly. Hmm. All right, uh... Good thing is with these boons, you won't even get a chance to bring it all out, so... Uh, let's... Let's bring out the grizzly and a squirrel. Ugh, this damned moon. It's dramatic, yes, but it provides no value to my board. I wonder... Ah, now that is value. Moonstrike. A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. Oh. So this thing is straight up massive. This should at least take a good chunk out of it. All right. And this should finish it. You really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. Oh my, did I just... Okay, so we're getting a bit of backstory uh, for the guy playing this game that we just that we just heard. Um, I think I'll go over these at a later date. For now, let's just skip ahead. I do not celebrate often. And I seldom give gifts. But you, Challenger, you are worthy. Please, do not be polite. Dig in. 
I mean, that does look pretty nice. It's it's even on a plate with a gold lining uh, around the edge. Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Mm, very well. Come with me. Stand right there. Who gave you that? You absolute ingrate! Give it back! And so, Leshy is now imprisoned in the card. What the? This was the door that we were just... Oh. I guess... That's it. Guess the only thing we can do is get out of here. And now we can access the new game. Which I think we're going to do next time. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're enjoying the series. And I will see you again next time. Until then, this is Silver telling you to stay Silver.